continues on. The reason it's where it is is for the benefit of the crowd. And what's happened here? Michael Rogers has thrown his bike to the ground. He desperately needs one quick. He's got one. It's not a team bike, although it's the same make as his team, Colnago, and I have a feeling that's come from a spectator. It's unclear what happened there. People are saying he was in collision with a motorcycle. We didn't see that, but he's gone. And he was so lucky to get a bike. If that has come from a spectator with the right pedal cleats, the saddle clearly a little bit low for him. But he's got himself a good bike at the right time. Now, the adrenaline which he released half of it slamming his other bike on the floor. It looks as though the rest is going to go into these pedals. He looks quite unconcerned now. I think he's got this under control. And remember that Rogers is still riding a spectator's bike. I've now discovered that the spectator, in fact, was a cyclist from Melbourne and uh, has always been an admirer of Michael Rogers. And Rogers is still sprinting on this bike. At least he knows now his bike goes because that was the sprint and a very valuable three second bonus for Rogers here. Now gives him a good lead overall. Paolini of Mape gets second, and it looked like it was Steve Cunningham who took the third place there. Well, he's had the hiccup on the hill, but he's making the most of it right now. The beauty of the Barossa, and Rogers will agree with that right now because he's riding superbly. Champion of Italy, Daniela Nardello is here. The gap, a minute 15. A look at that. The yellow jersey is at six minutes. It's all over for Fabio. In yellow for three days. His dream has come to a very abrupt end. Now, the mechanics there, just getting back in the car, have actually hired the saddle on the bike. It's taken them a while to do that, but because of the all action, the descent, and then the sprint down in Angaston, I would think that uh, Rogers now stretching his legs a little bit is going to feel a bit thankful because his legs will have been aching from the lowness of the saddle but let's go a little bit back down the road because this man has got clear as well of those five and michael rogers is making sure he's got the race lead because he's getting a second place win bonus as well so that will give him a clear lead overall and it's all been done on a borrowed bicycle today so what could have been a disaster has turned out totally triumphant for rogers he is now the leader of the tour and these are the gaps which have been opened. This is the Daniela Nordello and Alexander Botcharov, almost half a minute gone by. But there is the triumph, the congratulations too from Cadell Evans, who will be totally delighted with his victory and seems equally as happy that another Australian has at yellow. Patrick Yonker coming in, just over half a minute down in fifth. And Michael Rogers, a pretty lucky break today. Yeah, it certainly was. You know, we did all the hard work, but uh, early and maybe it was destiny that got me to the finish so, with the bike there. So. Well, the man with the bike on the hill, Adam Pike, uh, glad you could come along. But uh, what were you thinking there? We saw the pictures on the, on the screen. Michael crashing, you had the bike there, he jumped straight on. What were you thinking as your bike, which is almost $10,000 worth, disappeared up the hill? Well, I knew that Michael was nearly in the overall lead from yesterday, and I thought, well, if there's a chance to give him a hand to get him up there, why not? We're just looking at the pictures there, not very happy with the bike there, Michael? No, it failed me today, so um, I was lucky that Adam was there and, you know, I lost very minimal seconds and, uh, you know, maybe because that I, you know, won the tour without it, certainly, you know, I wouldn't be standing here today. And remarkably, the bike was almost uh, very, very similar in uh, statistics as yours, so it was a safe bet to ride. Yeah, certainly, you know, ju during the race a bit later on, we got, I got the seat raised a little bit, so other than that was perfect. Beautiful. Adam, thanks very much. I'm sure Michael thanks you very much. And you can watch tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure he's going to retain the yellow jersey. As we have a look at the stage tomorrow, of course, stage six, around uh, 20 laps around the Torrens in North Adelaide. Uh, you've got the yellow jersey. They're chasing you now, Michael. Yeah, certainly. It's still, you know, we haven't finished and we well, haven't won until I've crossed that finish line. So certainly we've got our, our work cut out in front of us. But, you know, we're riding very aggressively tomorrow to defend the lead. Are you going to give me a yellow jersey for that? I'll see what I can do, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, have you ever seen a, a situation like that? No, I haven't actually. Not when a guy gets a bike that was virtually tailor-made for him, just put the saddle up and off he goes, and of course he comes up with the goods. I think it's almost unprecedented. Michael, I just have to ask you, which bike are you riding tomorrow? Adam's or your original Jeez, I don't bike? know. I, I felt pretty comfy on this <laughs> one. Not a bad bike, so is it? <laughs> depends how my one comes up. Uh, you know, we've got spare bikes there, and uh, yeah, so hopefully, I, ho I hope mine is in good condition. You know, you always like to ride your own bike, so. All right, good luck tomorrow around the streets of Adelaide. Phil, we look forward to a great final stage here on the Jacobs Creek Tour down under. Hopefully you can get along and have a look, and we'll see you here tomorrow night with the final stage.